Hello everyone, I am Torior and this is my tutorial for having multiple versions of the same game installed simultaneously on Steam, which is normally impossible, but there is a very easy workaround. That I'm going to present to you today, and we will be using Crusader Kings 2 as an example. Now, why would you want to do that? Sometimes you just want to experience an older version of the game and not have to download all the files through Steam every time you want to do that. If you don't know how to experience an older version of the game, you go to Properties, and betas and you can select an older version in many games okay let's mm, forget that for now so what you need to do to have them simultaneously installed is a little bit of file renaming and copying so it's very easy and everyone should be able to do that so you need to do a few things first of all let's say Crusader Kings is the version we want to use Oh, also, you might want to use it for mods, because many mods require a specific version of the game and it takes time before they are updated. So go to Properties, Betas, and make sure that you opt out of all the beta programs if you want to make a copy of the current version of the game. Do that, let your game update, download all the files. Then go to your documents and sorry wrong folder go to your documents and settings this is in polish don't worry about that um this is the default location just in your documents and then you can um, you can find game files there for many different games for many different programs basically so we are interested in crusader kings 2 so we need to go to documents and then paradox interactive and you can find Crusader Kings 2 folders here. There's a Crusader, they, there should be just one Crusader Kings 2 folder without the new or the old version. Those are already done for me. So we will have a folder that looks like this. And those are the mods I'm using. So let's say I currently have the new version, the up-to-date version installed. What I will need to do is also install the mod I'm interested in. And this workaround should work for almost every game. And if you're not using a workaround, um, uh, if you're not using a mod, just ignore the mod part. You install the current version of the mod as well. And what you do is make a copy of this folder, of uh, the game files folder. It will take some disk space, but it, it works. So yeah, you just uh, copy and paste the folder. You will get a Crusader Kings 2 copy folder. Just rename it to something, something different, like Crusader Kings 2 new. This is the current up-to-date version and you will do this uh, now you need to go to your program files steam steam apps common and find find the game files you will see a folder like this Crusader Kings 2 you need to do exactly the same thing you did in the documents and settings bit you need to copy and paste the folder which will create Crusader Kings something like this Crusader Kings 2 copy uh, you will get a folder like this and you will have Crusader Kings 2 and Crusader Kings 2 copy. Now rename the new folder to Crusader Kings 2 new. This way you have two versions, two, two instances of the same thing. And you might want to make sure you have another backup of your save files just in case you do something wrong and it backfires and you lose your files. So yeah, now that we have created our Crusader Kings 2 new folder you'll mm, so let's say we have it like that crusader kings to old and crusader kings to new right that's what you should have after this step uh, you should go back to steam also if you're using the mod mm, go to the crusader kings 2 folder the one without the added name just like this and uninstall the game of thrones mod if you are doing that. If you're not doing that, then, then it doesn't matter. Uh, then you go back to Steam, go to Properties of the game, Betas, and select the beta version you're interested in. I'm, I want to use Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod version 0 0.9, which requires that version, 2.2.1. So we select that and let the game update. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to mess, mess up my setup. So after this is done, you will have all your files updated. You go back to your documents and settings, and this is the moment that you install your different version of the mod, if you want to use a mod. So you will install it. And now you will have folders like this. Crusader Kings 2 and Crusader Kings 2 New. When this is the up-to-date version, and this is the one you just downgraded your game to, which is older. 
Now rename that to Crusader Kings 2 Old in that situation and do the same with your Steam apps. And that is the current mm, and this is this is what you get. Now Steam will then think that you don't have the game installed and will try to install it yet again because those are the wrong names. Uh, so just don't restart Steam so you don't uh, mess it up. And now, now it's really really simple. Let's say I want to play the up-to-date version. I just cancel the added name. I return to the original name of the folder and do the same thing here. And now when I launch Crusader Kings 2 from Steam, it will launch the up-to-date version, the current version, uh, when you opt out of all the betas. And now it's not a lot of work, really. It's like 15 seconds to switch to the old version. What I need to do is just when it's not running, rename this to new, rename this to new, and the old version we cancel the added name, and now Steam will recognize this folder as the default folder for the game. And now when I click play, it will just default to the 221 reverted version. That's all the work you need to do to switch between the two versions of the game. And that, that is about it. Now, there are a few dangers, so make sure that you listen closely to that part. And maybe you want to make your saves, um, make a backup of your saves, just in case you mess something up. Uh, Steam can be dangerous sometimes, because if you have auto-updates on, and you restart Steam, it will detect that you are using an older version of the game, and then to and it will update it for you. So there are two things you can do. You can turn off automatic updates, which is one thing, or you can always keep it renamed. This way Steam will not access that folder and it will be okay. But then if you boot it up and you have new and old, it will detect that you don't have the game at all and installed a third instance. And we don't want that. So what I usually do, just for convenience sake, is I keep it that way. The new version is the default version, so it is just named Chris Kings 2, and Steam accept this, accepts this as the current version. Same here. And it will not install another instance because it detects that the game is here. And, and another thing, it is, uh, it is imperative that you rename them both at the same time. Basically, if you, if you screw something up and you forget to rename one of the folders, let's say you have such a situation, then if I boot this up, it will use the new game files, but the old settings files and the game will not work properly, and Steam will overwrite your stuff trying to mm, make it work. So make sure you don't make that mistake. Also, make sure that your naming is correct, because if you name them, for example, A and B, or 1 and 2, you can easily get confused, and then you will... If you, if you mess this up, just like I said, you will have a problem. Uh, right. Now I'm going to cancel the added name here and it defaults to Crusader Kings 2. Um, and when I, uh, when I use this method, I keep the current versions as, uh, as the default one, and when I play, want to play the old version, I change the name just before playing, and I, then I change it back just after playing, so my files are safe. Also, you, can, um, you might want to do periodic backups of your save files, which shouldn't be affected, but it's better to be careful. All right, and that is it. That is how you can keep many instances of the same game on the same system. It won't work on all games, but it should work on most of them. So, yeah, whatever you want to use it for, it should be okay. Okay, again, I say okay way too much, don't I? Uh, I hope it was helpful, and if it was, make sure that you click the like button so my channel can grow. See ya!